I'm back with some more F-099. Guess what? Queen's League came out. Um, and it actually hasn't been too long since the game came out that they're putting stuff out, so that's good. I hope it's not very long until we get King's League. I hope it's no more than two weeks. Or a week, that'd be nice. But anyway, um, but I'm glad they're you know still putting stuff out for it. Uh, I have enough tickets to go, so I'm gonna get this started, and we'll just go right into the Queen League and check out you know the the new courses, new you know they're they're only 30 years old or whatever, but they're new to F-099. <laughs> um, it gives a reason to keep coming back to playing the game, right? When they release some new tracks and whatever. You know one thing I noticed, it's like this leaderboard. Um, the leaderboard, I noticed that it resets, like leaderboard resets in one day, 21 hours. Does anybody else wish it was like permanent, like forever? Or maybe they could have like one more tab. How about like a, a tab that's like the permanent leaderboard and then have like have another leaderboard that like resets or something, I don't know. But it's just like the leaderboard's gonna reset. So if you get some kind of great, Score, it's just gonna get reset anyway, right? So, anyway, uh, Phineas McCormick, thanks for the sub, and duct tape Bill. That's lame, says John Haynes. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, like the resetting, you know. It's like with a real arcade machine, you know, you get the score for the day in Pac Man, but then they turn the machine off and then the score resets. So, I guess it was like that back in the 80s, too, right? Just got done watching your Undead Redemption video. Yeah, I didn't finish it. Uh, I was really enjoying it. It's just that those games go on like forever and ever and ever, you know. So I, I didn't. I, I beat the regular Red Dead Redemption on stream, but I didn't. I didn't finish the Undead thing. But it's really f fun though. Like I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, all right, let's get this started. So this is going to be uh, Grand Prix Queen League. Let's do it. And I might get, you know, destroyed uh, automatically or right in the beginning here. So we'll see. I'll, I gotta focus so that I can stay alive. Do I plan on winning or crashing? I'll let you know after it happens. Uh, genetic Jackhammer, thank you very much for the sub. Walker Texas Dangler sub. Uh, Mew Art sub. Thank you guys. Duct tape Bill Phidias, thanks to everybody who subbed. And I think it is, it's September 29th right now, so we're in the last uh, few days of September, right, where it's cheaper. So if you ever want to sub for cheaper and not have to look at ads for 30 days, now's the time to do it, I guess. All right, I haven't done this one in F-099, so here we go. This is new for F-099, that is. If you want to see a regular F Zero stream, uh, I have that like on YouTube. I, I beat the game on Master with the regular, with the real game, a long time ago. All right, here we go. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God. I forgot I can't pause it. <laughs> I was gonna, pa I was going to pause it to check my volume real quick. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if it's like loud enough. I'm so used to being able, able cause I, I'm usually playing like a single player game. I, I so often don't play like online multiplayer stuff like this. I'm like, oh, just let me pause it real quick and turn my volume up or down or whatever. So let me know if the volume's good. <laughs> oh my God. All right. I hope that doesn't cost me a whole race. I'm trying to pause. I'm trying to pause an online. <laughs> hey, why can't I pause this online multiplayer game? I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> That's stupid. Why is it so stupid? if I would have hit that. Blow one of these up. And I can do it. I'm going to go. God. 
I don't know. What did I get? 33? All right, I'm still alive. All right. So, yeah, how is the volume? It's fine. Okay, good. All right, at least I'm alive. <laughs> and we got a hype train going. Thanks for the hype train, guys. And Brembo Bag and Sub, Kenzo Stone, uh, Qubit, Genetic Jackhammer. Thanks, guys. Better than most Switch games. This? It's cool. I hope they keep it going. I, I know they won't forever, but can we have it for? Can we have this for at least three years? Can we at least have three years without them getting rid of it? Uh, Carnage 007. Thank you very much for the sub. They still run Pac-Man 99. I think Pac-Man 99 still works, but I think October they're getting rid of it. Right? Is that one? All right, here we go. I gotta pay attention. This is the one with those magnetic things on the sides. If that even makes sense. protects me also from the side rails and stuff like that or if it's just the other cars. I don't know. I don't know. Nachos, sub, uh, thank you. And Bena, Bena Bait, Bena Bait. Daddy O40, how you doing, Daddy O? John Haynes, get this up to Ryu. Scrawny Clown Snatch the Third is here. And Setzer, how you doing, Setzer? I feel like it's been a while since you've been in here. Have you been in? Has it been a while? Megalodon says this game is crazy fun. Looks crazy fun. Oh, have you not played it? Been a short while. Keep in. If Mike comes in first, I'm not gonna come in first, but I'll just hopefully, I, can, I would like to make it these five races in this Queens League, that'd be nice. I'll take that, if I can just make it to the end. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude, they're all going that way. Yeah, they all know, like, shortcuts. I don't know. I've, like, followed them. <laughs> like, if, if your friends jumped off of a bridge, would you go, too? That was definitely... I guess the answer to that is yes for me. Because I just, like, went where they went. I was like, oh, they're all going that way. I guess I'm doing that. Because I don't remember usually going that way. Hey. 
Ow. 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 I would love to hit that a couple times. Oof, ow. Ow again, ow again. All right, I got the thing. This final, final. All right, let's go. Stay alive, all I wanna do is stay alive. Most of them are blowing up. Come on! What did I get? 14, okay. Still alive. I'm happy that I didn't like die on the first stage at least, so whatever happens, happens. Like Belmont, thanks for sub. His favorite man baby gamer. Who are the other man baby gamers besides me? Yes, I'm hiding down here. Hi. You don't need to see me. Just worry about the game. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Retro Junkie 83 says he is, too. So me and Retro Junkie 83. Here we go. to make it over that one jump, right? I might be in trouble here, I forget. I don't know if it's that this one or a different one. And you can easily crash out on this one with these jumps. so quick. Ah. Short course. I wasn't ready for that yet. Crap. Well. Wah, wah, wah. I can't win them all. Damn. Well, now I'm going to have to get, um, that sucks. Now I'm going to have, better luck next time. I'm going to have to get some tickets back. New pilot card border, oh boy. Practice mode. Participate in Queen League. And now we gotta get tickets. Oh, let's go to our pilot cards. Oh, let's see how awesome this is gonna be. Oh, what a great pilot card. What else? <laughs> this stuff is like so absolutely pointless. And hang on a second, we got some gift subs that came in, my god. Uh, first of all, Slash Revolver sub, thank you. He said, Man, Babies Unite. Games and Movies, thank you very much for the subs. Gifted subs to Elemental Factor, ha Past Kyre 7, Max Power, uh, Tech 1, and Audrey Shimato. Those are from Games and Movies, thank you very much for that. Then Alraz gifted out 99 gift subs. My god, here we go. Uh, if, you, if I read your name out, uh, 30 days of no ads on this channel. Quartz, Pachanga818, <clears throat> Serenga Sir, Cloud, I can't pronounce your name, Bo, Boom EF, uh, Protogore, Barbs Over Breakfast Scone, 
Legends, Dr. Deviant, Green is Turbo, Monk Out of Dark, once again, these are from Alraz, one, uh, Mongor Face, Hold Stare, Creepy Thin Man, Jombie, Drunk I Am Sir, uh, Ahmed Razor Gator, Zai Balba, Yoke, Slarty Bardfast, Shark Sleep, Dr. Clay, Vinegar Stroked. Oh, stroking it with vinegar. Mmm, that's always a good way to go about it. Vila Dolly, uh, Lion W, Apresend, SMB VIP. See, around here we use Lysol uh, to. <laughs> this guy's using vinegar. <laughs> Adriana, Buttermen. Slurm Man, Kirkman 1979, Mumra, Prima Bunny, Retro Jeffrey, Sanguine Sonata, Burt Naked. Oh, like Burt Naked? Like Burt from Sesame Street Naked? Okay. Devo 9129, Choco Boutique, Sergeant Wantley, Heat Legend. Scooch aside, Senster or something, can't even read it, Devilman666, Execation, Gravity Demon, Irk0693187, Sir Terrible Gamer, The Disabled Alien, Pain Elemental 667, Living Dead Games, uh, oh my god, Nighttime X, Ryzen, Dankenstein, uh, Soul Kurt Yalt or something, T T X, uh, Quix, M H nine eleven, C Y M ball symbols. I guess it's supposed to be uh, S S Young, Simon Ramon, Low Life Dirtbag, Wishbone, Matt to the Future, Missing Time, Johnny Clash, Chill. 84, Global Baker, Funky Freep, Phantom EXE 1976, The Silent Jester, Hunters, Justin Marshall, Cryptic 666, OMP 82, That Guy, Arto, Blueberry Boat, as a Genesis IX or something, uh, Darth Bush, Real Life Anime Girl, Freakin' Sweet 84, Mike Matinee, that was from an old mailbag video from a long time ago. You know what I was thinking about today is how, you know how the Angry Video Game Nerd name came to be? James and I were talking about like, okay, it was all like NES reviews, and then it was like, um, because this because that reminded me of it, uh, the Mike Matinee thing and the old videos. Uh, what it was actually was he was going to be like, okay, I'll be. Uh, I'll be there uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna review a Atari game. I'll be the Atari reject. Or if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna review a PlayStation game, I'll be the PlayStation Poindexter and like all these like other names for each. So every con whatever the console was that the game review was gonna be, it was gonna be a different like character base kind of or a different name at least. Instead of that, I said, well, what about if there was just an umbrella name? I remember saying that. I remember driving in the car saying that to him and being like, let's just have like an umbrella name for all of it. So we came up with like five or six different names that could like just cover everything basically. Then we put the names that we came up with. There was like five names that we came up with. And we put the five names onto this old screw attack forums back in the day. And the one that won that was the one we picked. So actually, the fans were involved in picking the name Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, I mean, the fi the names were chosen by us, but the fans actually picked. It could have easily been like one of those other ones. Uh, Johnny Blue, thank you very much also for the sub. And uh, Games and Movies uh, also just gifted out a couple more subs to Triangle 45, Flawed Mortals, Dino Genks, Kidder Kit and Xenophore. Those are some more uh, gift subs from games and movies. Thank you very much for, for that. And Yo-Yo Dave, thanks for the sub. And John327Vi, let's not forget him. 
My god, we got a lot of subs. All right, well, thank you very much for that. I guess that means you guys really want to see F-099. And uh, Drunkula X also subbed. Thank you very much for that, guys. Um, all right, let's keep going here. Um, oh, yeah, and the machines. I didn't like the color on the machine. I'm going to change this up. I haven't done this one. looks all right. Let's try. Well, I'll do the red one. I like this ship because it tends to not blow up as much. So we got special event pro tracks, regular F-099. I think I, I have to do the regular F-099 to get the gold tickets, right? I'm going to need more. Oh, there's another Grand Prix in seven minutes, so I guess I better start getting these tickets. The ColecoVision cocksucker. See, that would have been for ColecoVision reviews. Although I guess we really only did one. It was the uh, double vision thing. But yeah, you got the idea. If they pick, don't do it. Good. I think they should get rid of the voting in the next update. I think it's stupid. Pro tracks give you more points for the tickets. Oh, do they? All right, I'll do the pro tracks from now on. I didn't realize that. I haven't played this game as much as you think I would have. It just, uh, I played it like a little bit off stream, but mostly, uh, most of me playing this game has been on stream. Um, so. I don't know everything about it really yet, but I really, I really enjoy it. I'm hoping that they'll do like some kind of like challenge mode things. And I heard, I heard some rumors about this. I heard, I don't know how much is true or whatever, but I heard they're gonna do like the F Zero BS courses, and then I've also heard that they might actually put in the courses from the what's it called uh, the Game Boy Advance game like Maximum Velocity and stuff like that I, I, that would be re really cool I, I, I didn't expect that but that's what I recently I heard that today I don't know if that's true or not but that would be cool if they put those like Maximum Velocity courses because that one I haven't played all that much so those would almost they wouldn't be like new but they feel like kind of new courses to me because I didn't play that game ton so that'd be cool if they if they did that you know it'd be wild i don't know i don't even know if it'd be possible but to put like the n64 and make like one of the course it wouldn't even make sense like have have the um uh, have the cars look exactly the same but have a have like one course from like f-zero gx in this just to make it like weird It's like how they do like pixelated graphics in uh, Streets of Rage 4. You know, something that like doesn't fit. Get hyped or die trying is asking, who else is baked as fuck as a motherfuck? He'd like to know who else is, who here is baked? <laughs> the big hand course from F-Zero X. Like apple pie. Yeah, that's what he meant. He meant like a baked like an apple pie. What did you think he meant? Obviously that's what it meant. All right, I'm gonna do some of these pro tracks. Mike, are you going to see the next Star Wars movie? Yeah, they're just gonna like gonna keep making them or whatever, right? Uh, no, I'm like so done with um, franchise stuff for the most part. Um, did they announce one? Is there? They actually are they actually making one? I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't care. Uh, Max Payne, 
thanks for subbing. Do we want to see Adam Driver without a shirt again? Yes, yeah, just what everybody wants, right? How about, let's not talk about, I don't want to talk about Star Wars crap. I don't care. Pick a different subject, please. Please. I organized my game shelf today. Well, I have several games. One of, one of my game shelves. The one where I have uh, my, like, I don't know, like, Xbox games and stuff. I'm try this is me trying to change the subject off of the Star Wars crap that I can couldn't care less about. Oh, so, wait, this is Deathwind 2, huh? Yeah, it is. I haven't done this, uh, on this yet. Party six any good? Uh, I thought it was all right. I liked mm, I liked most of the GameCube ones. The fourth one was like really slow, so maybe not that one. But like, I think I like I think I like six and seven. Those ones I remember being pretty fun. I'm not doing too well today. Uh, Retro RM, thanks for the sub. And I, at the end of the last F Zero stream I did, I was able to take first. So, give me a little while to warm up here. Thanks, Retro RM. $70. What, what is $70? Turn off the microphone games. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't like the microphone games. I think I they had the option to do that, right? I think I would turn those off, but it was it was pretty good. Wait, not enough. Oh, it started the okay, the Grand Prix thing. All right. Crap. Zero foreplay sub. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> The be uh, one of the best parts of my streams is these usernames. Spider Blair, thank you for the sub. He doesn't have any time for foreplay. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1 Atari 2600 version. Mortal Kombat 1 on Game Boy. Well, that's a real thing. Mortal Kombat 1 on Switch. We're just saying, well, this guy is like high in my chat for that's one thing he was telling me. Like Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1 on the MSX. 
Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1. On the, on the FM Towns Marty. <laughs> and then he's just gonna do that the whole stream until he's named every single system. That's the same thing we did for this game. Do you remember that stream? The first time I streamed this game, it was, okay, what else can they do besides F099? Uh, F0, uh, or they could do uh, RC Pro M99. They could do Zelda 99. They could do Metroid 99. Now, I say the one that's needed is Ice Climbers 99. And then that went on for like six hours. You could literally just name like anything and then just add 99 to it. And like what, like what I meant by it was like, what do you actually like think would make a good 99 game? And maybe more so than that, be like adding a little bit to it. Like what would make it good? Not just naming the game, but like saying a reason why. Like I expect like a little bit more. I gotta say something. So usually like, so a lot of times people will leave me suggestions for, um, you know, games to stream. And I gotta tell you, I got the best, this is like serious, I got the best comment. This I, I've been playing a lot of um, PlayStation games lately. And people will come on to like YouTube or wherever and they'll be like, hey Mike, you should play, I don't know, uh, the Spyro or something like that. You know, and then that'll be the comment. This guy left this comment and he, he must have listed like 30 games. But then he gave a description. He, he listed the game, and then he gave like a description of why he thought I personally would like want to play it. And like it was like a really good. Li it was like very comprehensive and like really well thought out. And I really, like, I really, as much as I hate bad YouTube comments, which are most of them, I do really appreciate good YouTube comments because they're very rare, but they do happen. So thanks to that guy that left the really good YouTube comment. I like to say that because usually all I'm doing is bitching about YouTube comments. There was there was there was a guy. There was a guy that left a good one. Here they go. There you go. Ice Climbers 99, Madden 99, Super Mario 99, Flowers of Robert Maplethorpe 99, Excite Bike 99. Suck my dick, 99. Super Mario 64, 99. Like, this is, like, now becoming the same stream as, like, several streams ago, so let's not do this. They want to. You guys just find it fun you want to do it. I can't stop you. Do whatever you want. Mike complaining about the chat, 99, yeah. Mike Matei live, 99, yeah. Um, you know what, how, I, I think they came up with like a shortened version of National Geographic, you know, the magazine. I just heard that, like now they're calling it like a shorter name. It's like the same thing they did with, um, uh, what's it called? Dunkin' Donuts. You know how Dunkin' Donuts now, instead of Dunkin' Donuts, it's Dunkin'? Like, everything's got to be shortened now. So since everything's got to be uh, shortened, how about this channel can be called My Matt Lie? Because it's, it's quicker to say it that way, clearly. Now, now this is My Matt Lie. I'm going with the Dunkin' Donuts uh, marketing. Clear, clearly, they must have figured something out. Well, Dunkin' Donuts is so long. I don't know what these companies are thinking. Everything's got to be like abbreviated now. Really, you can't say Dunkin' Donuts, and they say, "Well, they want to get the, they want to get the donut out of it because people are trying to be healthy." Yeah, but they still sell the donut. Then you have to stop selling the donuts. Stop selling them, then. If, you, if you're embarrassed 
of your, what your company is, then t then stop selling the donut. If you stop selling the donuts, then I then I'm fine with you calling it Dunkin'. But until they stop selling the goddamn donuts, then they don't get to do that. It's stupid. My Matt lie. Stupid. Why does everything suck so much now? Like, who thinks of this crap? Why is everything so stupid? There we go. Come on. Six. Ah. -ha. All right. Da, 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 da. I'll take that. Warming up. You like Donut Dodo? Do Donut Dodo is awesome. That guy's making another game too. Something. It's like a minecart thing or something. Dead cows don't moo, says Burger... I think you mean... He said Burger Kind. I think you mean Burger King. Burger King has, has semen. They put it in your burger. You don't have to ask. I think that was just you. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think that happened to you. Oh, oh, actually, what ha actually happened is this guy, Dead Cows Don't Moo, he, he bought Burger King, but then he brought it home, and he jacked off the onto it and ate it. That's what he meant to say. He just typed it wrong. <laughs> that's, what, that's what actually happened, isn't it? They didn't even give you a burger, they just came in a bag and gave it to you. Didn't you think it was weird when you got like a brown paper bag and it was just like wet and dripping on the bottom? You didn't like ask any questions? <laughs> he just drives home with it, with the, this like wet bag. And he gets home and he opens it up. Uh oh! You thought it was mayo. Oh. I see. Great. This is good. I go the shortcut way with all the cool kids. You're not gonna lie, you still ate the cum when you came home. Okay. Nice of you to admit to it. See, you admit to it, but you know everybody, you know, on the internet has these user handles that you don't know your like real name. I'm sitting here with my real name. Everybody knows who I really am. I'm sitting here talking about whatever the fuck we're talking about. Eating, eating fucking cum out of fucking bag. <laughs> eating cum out of bags. <laughs> you know? That's the difference. 
You don't get to hide behind your usernames. <laughs> Wait, I just saw somebody talking about a poop test. Hang on a second. I don't, what? I don't even, I didn't even get the, like, like the chance to read the whole comment. I tried to glance over for like a split second. I didn't get enough time to read the whole thing. Okay, what? Okay, it was $400 for a test. Okay. Chat here is much better than the YouTube comments. Well, I, the... the it, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're t literally most of the comments right now are about the cum in a bag. Cum is stored in the balls. Is it really better here? Let's re let's read a YouTube comment. Uh, let's go read one. Let's let's see what's actually better. All right, what do I got? It did. Here, I'll go to my last F099 stream. Awesome game proves that you don't need 4K state-of-the-art graphics with ray tracing to make a great game. This game is so much fun, and this is coming from a guy who hated this game on the original. Who hates F-Zero on the Super Nintendo? Wait, what? I'd always crash out a lot, and it was frustrating, but F-099 gives you a reason to come back. Well, it does, but... Wait, wait a second, let me finish this guy's comment. He says, I suck. Okay. Hey, I think he just redeemed himself. It, he said that he, he's saying that he sucks. Like, he said, he's saying, I suck. <laughs> Leveling up and facing off against real 99 players is awesome. I like that he admitted that he sucks because, I mean, if he doesn't like F-Zero and Super Nintendo, then he does suck, but he knows it. So that's okay. That's okay. I think that that's okay. I was about to be really angry, but he saved himself by, by telling me that he sucks. Anyway, those are some YouTube comments. He's like, hey, Mike, I suck. <laughs> Corbin County Jr., thanks for the sub. Did you know Smurf for ColecoVision? Man, the way you spell ColecoVision. Uh, <laughs> did you know that you can get Smurfette naked? Even if you can, like, what what is the good is that gonna do me? What do you want me to do with that? Mad Wreck One, thanks for the sub. You want me to stream it so you can see her naked? Well, apparently you've already seen it, right? Even if it's true. So what does it matter? Is this is what you masturbate to? Spit or swallow? What, Smurfette? What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, fuck. Crunchy the Clown says, I hope, I hope this is better. Crunchy the Clown says, I jerked off to Smurfette. I'm sure you have. All right, hang on. I'm playing this game here. All right, what is going on? Oh, this is like the team thing or something.
question for you guys, honestly. So here, here's here's my topic. So remember, like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Let, let me just talk for a minute, and then you can like answer. So just like listen to me for a second. So Super Mario Brothers Super Show and like the Legend of Zelda cartoon and all that. Back in the day, I remember I'd go to school and kids would make fun of it. They like it'd be like, "Oh, excuse me, princess. Oh, that show sucks," and all, all that. I kind of I liked the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I liked the Captain Albano, Lou Albano, and I liked the Zelda cartoon. It, and yeah, absolutely, was it corny? Abs- sure, it was. Um, but like. I don't know. I also, you know, I like like the old Adam West Batman. I, I like like corny shows and and stuff. Like, so I didn't think of it as like, I didn't think of the show as like bad. I just thought of it. It's like just like ch- kind of like cheesy, like whatever. It was like entertaining. Like I, I liked the Zelda cartoon and the and the Mario cartoon and all, and all that. So anyway, do you? Th- and then, you know, it, there, was, there were so many years after that that, we, you know, we didn't have, like, any Zelda cartoons or Mario cartoons. Now there's been, like, the Mario movie and everything, but my question, I guess, is do you think, was Nintendo, did Nintendo get wind of how a lot of people felt about that show? the Mario Super Show and the Zelda thing, did they hear feedback or were the ratings low? And then they were like, oh, we can't be doing any more Zelda and Mario cartoon stuff for a long time. Because I've always heard that, I've heard these like rumors about like how they were embarrassed of it and stuff, but is there anything official that Nintendo ever said like, oh yeah, that show got bad ratings or that show was an, an embarrassment? Did they ever like say anything that they were embarrassed by it? Like, does anybody know? Because I, I feel like a lot of people assume that they were embarrassed by it, but I'd like to, I'd love to hear, like, a real comment from, like, the higher, like, if, like, I don't know, Miyamoto or somebody else that was at Nintendo ever said, like, oh, yeah, that was, like, an embarrassment to our company or something like that. Because if they ever said that, like, I think that's, like, not, um... Just because a show is a little bit cheesy doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Like, I, I thought that, like... I don't know. I really liked, like, Captain Lou Albano and everything. Nintendo is much more protective these days of their IPs than they were back then. Right. I don't think they make something like those old cartoons again. No, I'm not saying that they should make something like those old cartoons now. I wouldn't expect them to make the same type of thing now. I'm just saying, like, after that show was on, did they ever comment on it? Was there ever, like, an official, like, something that they said over the years? If anybody can find, like, an interview or something, I'd, it's like some, like, a like real person that worked at Nintendo, I'd like to, like, know what they actually thought af- after the fact. You know, not like, you know, I think you understand what I'm saying. Kids our age like the shows for the most part. Yeah, I, I thought I think so. I like I feel like people were excited about it. You know, when I would when I would go to school, there sure there would be some. It was I guess it was sort of like a mixed opinion thing. Like some people really liked it, and some people thought it was stupid. I guess. Kids these days don't know shit. I think the quote uh, games and movies is kids don't know dick. Have you seen Wayne's World? So thank you very much, uh, Super Jeff, for the sub. Party time. Excellent. They were cheesy but good. They did make Super Mario Bros. 3 and Mario World. Yeah, I have the DVDs of them. Um, Super Mario World. It's a blast from the past. You know? Do you guys know that there was like a Kirby uh, a cartoon too? And the, the lyrics are just like... Uh, for it's like I don't know. It's like got all like weird characters in it too. Yeah, Kirby right back at you. Yeah, it's like Kirby, 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 or whatever. Here we go. Let's see if I can put it on. This will this will work. 
know if the audio is going to come out right now. Hang on. Can I make this work? Kirby, 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 that's a name you should know. Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show. He's more than you think, he's got maximum pain. Like, did they, did the guy, like, literally come up with the lyrics at, they're like, okay, we don't have a theme song for this, so just go. And the dude's like, all right, uh, what's his name, Kirby? All right. Kirby, 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 Kirby's the one. Kirby, Kirby, oh yeah, he's a star. Kirby, 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 Kirby. It's like, there is no thought put into that at all. I like, like my god. Kirby Kirby Kirby's the one. You could do that for any character. Kirby Kirby Kirby's the one. Okay. Alf 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 is the one. Kirby Kirby Kirby. Alf Alf Alf. Alf of Alf. Alf 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 of Alf Alf Alf. It's just like absolutely no zero effort. <laughs> it's actually catchy though. It's terrible. I can like there. Uh, what we got? Uh, uh, Spock. Spock, Spock, Spock. Spock, Spock, Spock. It's just it's so bad. I don't like. I don't like the team battle ones. At the end, they won't let me get out of it now. No, I don't want a team battle. I like the pro tracks, but the team battle thing, I'm not like really that into it. I have to now. I gotta wait for the pro track thing to come back up. I have enough tickets for the Grand Prix again, though. Yeah, the Donkey Kong Country one and all that. I didn't wa watch that. Oh, predictions. Uh. I mean, if there's a mod that wants to run. I think Al Raz does him sometimes if he's still here. Legend of Zelda was only produced for one season. Writer said that the reason it was canceled was partly because it was tied to Super Mario Bros. Super Show rather than being its own show. It was tied to they didn't want to renew the Mario Brothers, and Zelda got shuffled off. And something I just read something about I didn't get to read the whole thing and something about positive feedback yeah I feel like okay like sure it was a little cheesy he had, he had like the one liners like excuse me princess and all this but it's like it was like the Zelda and Mario show it was like I feel like it was popular enough that like I feel like that was a pretty popular show, and it's it's weird to me that it didn't go on longer. We're like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back then, right? It had like ten seasons, and and Zelda had like thirteen episodes or something. Like it just doesn't even make any sense to me. Even if it's like a little bit corny or whatever, it's it's Mario and Zelda. You would think that that would have went on for at least like like three seasons or something it's like bizarre to me that it ended that's why I think somebody in Nintendo like was like we gotta pull the plug on this like they were embarrassed by it or something maybe we'll never know the world may never know Do we ever figure out how many licks it takes? Does anybody here know how many licks it takes? Oh, I thought there was one more. The world may never know.
the show was just an advertisement for the game, and they had other shows that advertised more NES games besides Mario. Do you think it's just an advertisement for the game? It didn't need an advertisement. I don't know about that. Like, do you think the Transformers cartoon is only an advertisement for the toys? Is that the only reason it existed? Or were they trying to make something out of it? I feel like it depends what the show is, because sometimes the shows were good and sometimes the shows weren't good. There was obviously, sometimes there was cash grab shows, and then sometimes they, people cared. Like, I would say, like, Batman the Animated Series, that had a toy line, but that was a really good show. So I don't think it was just to sell toys. I think they were trying to make something, you know, that people would like. I think. I'll do one more race, and then we'll do the Grand Prix. He-Man and Thundercats did great, too. Like, the sh like as far as how good the shows were. Did I, watch the ever did I ever watch the Back to the Future cartoon? I did a review on the Back to the Future cartoon. See, people only remember my Elmo video, Elmo and Grouchland and Minecraft. Those are because they became like memes. But I did like all these other videos uh, back in the day. Um, I did a review of Alien versus Ninja. Nobody remembers that I did that. Um, <laughs> I did a review of Eragon. I did a review of the Monolith Monsters. Like all, I did lots of stuff. I did a review on the Back to the Future cartoon, um, all kinds of stuff. And there's a lot of videos that I wrote. Um, we did we did one on the Thundercats cartoon that I wrote. But yeah, um, I very much remember in my so in the review I did of the Back to the Future cartoon. Uh, I talked, uh, the only thing I remember about it right now, I talked about like how Christopher Lloyd is actually in it. And I would watch that cartoon uh, as a kid, I think on like Saturday mornings or whatever. And he would sort of do like a Mr. Wizard type of thing. You know, he would show like a little science experiment. And the one I remembered was making a hot air balloon. So Doc Brown basically would take a, a plastic bag of some type, a garbage bag or something like that, and a uh, blow dryer, like a hair dryer, and then he would use the heat from that to make the bag like fly into the sky. So at the end of the review that I did, I did the experiment, and it, it does actually work. Like I made, I was able to make the like bag fly into the air. So I like that kind of stuff. You guys, are, by the way, speaking of Mr. Wizard, you guys ever watched Mr. Wizard? Mr. Wizard's like. <laughs> He's a fucking dick, but uh, I, like I find that show to be very enjoyable. Like it's a, it's a good show, but he's like he's very like uh, I don't know. You're hey hey kid, you're gonna learn this science, and I'm gonna tell you once how it's done. If you don't do what I say the right way, uh, you're gonna get yelled at. <laughs> That's it's got like kind of like his attitude. He like, like like a take. He was like a real like take no shit kind of guy. And I, I don't know. I like that. Back to the Future ride was epic. Yeah, and then they uh, they ripped it apart and stuck the Simpsons in instead of building a Simpsons ride from the ground up. That's the worst when theme parks do that. It's like uh, they did that in Epcot Center. Instead, of, they have this giant hit movie, like the Frozen and all that with Elsa and all that. So instead of like making its own ride, they're like, oh, let's just rip out an old ride and like, you know, <laughs> cover it up with some new. It's like it's like it's like a, it's almost like a cheap. Uh, um, it's like what they do with some of these NES games. It's like you just take Super Mario Brothers and you turn, you make the sprite Mega Man, and it's like you know. <laughs> See, I made it about video games again.
Hanna Barbera ride looks fun. Uh, are you talking about in Universal the? Um, It's like, uh, not Dick Dastardly or whatever. It's like they have the, like, it's like almost like a Splash Mountain kind of ride. I can't think of the name of it. There's like a water ride in Universal. Is that what you're talking about? All right, so I have four tickets here. I'm gonna do the Queen League. No, not Popeye. Um, what the hell's the name of it? I think somebody just said it. No, they didn't. Rip, yeah, Ripsaw. Dudley do right. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name. Yeah, there's a Dudley do right uh, ride. Thank you very much, uh, Circumcised by Picasso, for letting me know that it was Dudley do right. Appreciate that. Thanks again. Thanks once again, Circumcised by Picasso. All right, we're doing Queen's League again. Here we go. How many first place finishes do I have? On the, la on the end of the last stream I did, which is on YouTube, I got a first place. Um, and the stream before that, I got a couple. I, I, have, I have a couple, not many. A few, maybe like three or four. I haven't played the game like a ton. Mike circumcised me. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. With those uh, hedge clippers. Remember that? Out by the bushes? Good times. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I... <laughs> Very sorry. I went a little overboard. It was kind of like uh, Jack Nicholson in The Shining with the axe, bashing through the door. If you want a reenactment of what that was like, which I'm sure is what you're all looking for right now. Mike tried his best. Yeah, exactly, thank you, I tried. That's all that really matters, isn't it? I gave it a go. is your best so far. Keep playing, you'll get there. Oh, a paper shredder, that's another way to do it. Have you ever heard of the game Diarrhea, Diaper Daddies, Sugar? Now, is that the full name of the game, or did you just call me Sugar at the end of that? <laughs> Either way, I'm just done. What are you what are you talking about? I can't make heads or tails out of this chat. You, you people 
make absolutely no sense. Oh, that's right. They told me at the very beginning of the stream that they're that they're high. I forgot. My my bad. I guess it all makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, he's like like rogue. Well, that that was his high like comment. That's the, that's the best he was able to get out. I like that. <laughs> like rogue. <laughs> At least I didn't die. <laughs> Have I played Kung Fu Chaos on the original Xbox? No. I'll look it up. Let's see. I'll let you know if it looks like something. Sure about that one. Cunt Fu. No. That's not what he said. That's a different kind of game. doing uh, Queens League here. These are new courses. I don't think anybody said anything about F-Zero other, other than naming Banjo-Tooie-99. Mega Man X7-99. To the ground, burn to the ground, burn to the ground. Quality, quality game. Another mic party, I guess. Is this, does, is, does this qualify as a party to you? Like, I don't know. I'm sitting here in a room and I'm playing a video game. You're probably just sitting in your room. God knows, you're, you could be totally naked, sitting there eating your Doritos. 
I guess I guess that could be considered your party. <laughs> Cal X, thanks very much for the sub. Thirty-four months. <laughs> Thank you. You're typing with your penis. Very good. Very talented. A very talented chat. they made it. Da, 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 da. One more, right? Da, da, da. Hi, so we got in his third place. I have Extreme Gamer. Not much, but a little bit. Won't you play F-Zero X? I, I will. I'll do that someday. I like that game. You love watching my stream naked. I know. I'm, I'm aware. I'm very aware. In fact, Zelda's Harry Muff. I'm, I think you've told me this before, have you not? Shit. 
Unless that gold car comes, I don't think I'm getting another. Oh boy. probably was like seventh place or something but at least I made it it's, I wonder what I got overall I'm just happy if I make it to the end da, 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 da. Would you pay for a cock controller if such a thing existed? That, shouldn't the fleshlight people be working on that? You stick, on, you would stick on the fleshlight, but it would connect with a, a USB cable or something like that. Money in the bank. Okay, sixth place. I'll take it. At least I made it. At least I didn't blow up. The drift would be good. <laughs> all right. Ooh, getting all kinds of new colors here. Ooh, the red one. I like the red one. I want that. I want it. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, lifetime records, though. Wait a second. So, I mean, here's where they have some. I was talking in the beginning of the stream about how, like, the leaderboard gets, like, reset one day and 20 hours until the leaderboard gets reset. But there are, like, life records, too, I guess. So they kind of do have both, actually. Okay, Pro Tracks this is what I want. Get more points on this. Da, 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 da. Barb over breakfast scones says, "What happens when you come? Uh, like, I don't know, like eight or nine ropes of like this hot, sticky substance shoots out like real far, and then." Uh, at then, I've talked about this before, you grab the base of your cock and then you yank up and that, l that last little dollop that comes out, that's what we call the dollop of Daisy. Now, I'm, I've been hoping to get some kind of brand deal or sponsorship for the um, uh, Daisy sour cream commercials, but for some reason they still have not contacted me about this. I feel like I could get people's attention with my little story if I did that as a commercial. And then everybody would go to the store and it would really just make everybody want to buy that product, I think. At least it would get their attention. You know when you watch or you, you listen to the radio and the radio ads are like really annoying? You know, they're very obnoxious ads on the radio because they're trying to get your attention. Well, I feel like if that came on television, that little conversation, that might get your attention. But mm, they haven't contacted me yet. I don't know. Missing out on millions. In my mind. In my mind. Was that, did that satisfy your answer of what happens when you come? No. Tell me more, Mike. Tell me more, Daddy Mike. Tell me more about when you ejaculate, Daddy. Is Daddy-O still in here? There's a guy in my chat named Daddy-O. Hi, I'm Daddy-O. Everybody's blowing up here. 
Musen, thank you very much for the sub. How are the races going? Eh, as long as I don't blow up, I'm happy. Hey, I took out all those rivals at least. You're the annoying guy. Uh, yeah, I could be the annoying guy. That's fine. But uh, what I meant was they try to get your attention. So with the radio ads, they get your attention. And I felt that the story, because you usually don't hear about stories like that during commercials and it would get your attention is what I was saying. Another way to get somebody's attention in an advertisement, let's say that you were doing an advertisement on, I don't know, peanut butter. You could say something a little bit like, Hi, I'm Peter Pan! While coming through somebody's window, early in the day the w with the windows open I feel like that would get your attention that's how you sell peanut butter <laughs> that's how you sell peanut butter let's get another pro track in Mike is my best friend. That's from uh, the f f fabled boner grip. The fabled boner grip. What is it? Oh, bong grip. That's right. Yes, me and uh, boner grip were very good friends. Very good friends. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, uh. Carvel's famous Fuck Me the Bear. <laughs> you want that? Okay, I'll give you that. Here's the ice cream cake that only you can bake. They're made fresh every day cause that's the Carvel way. And when you're at the store, see Cookie Puss and more, and don't forget about Fuck Me the Bear, the friendliest bear. And then the guy at the end of the commercial, he's like, sounds drunk. He's like, get your, get your Cookie Puss and Fuck Me Bear plushes at your local carnival retailer. I gotta go. <laughs> they don't make ads like that anymore for some reason. We had good ads in our day. Good.
He's my friendliest bear friend. Oh! I was so excited about getting the power up that I just thought I could surf through the rest of it and I stopped paying attention to my health meter. Oh god, I deserved it. Fuck me, the bear. <laughs> He's the friendliest bear, after all. Grand P. Grand P. We gotta do another one. I gotta have another Grand. I gotta have another Grand P. Hang on a second. Fuck me, the bear. Thank you, Hayden. Uh, with the sub. Somebody subbed during all that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna subscribe to this guy. What's he talking about? Fuck me, the bear! God. You almost had it. I know. I just blew it. Excited for them to release the Kings League courses. Those are the ones I really want. But these are all cool to get. that too. If I can blow somebody up. I thought it was still another lap. God, did I at least get enough points to get into this? <sighs> Terrible. Terrible. Please give me enough. Okay, that's all I cared about. I got enough points. Whatever, worth it then. All right, now I can go and do a real Grand Prix again. Thank you, Senketsu, for gifting us up to Johnny Fatsax, by the way. All right, here we go. Let's do another Queen League, shall we? I'm wondering if after Kings League, they'll start releasing new tracks. Uh, I was talking about this earlier, but I heard that they were going to do the BS games. The tracks, I should say. And... Um, 
like the Game Boy Advance one. I think the game's maximum velocity. So I guess we're gonna get some. And wasn't there other um, Game Boy Advance F Zero games? There was like another one, right? I, I forget the title of it. Uh, games and movies just gifted out some subs to uh, Brew City, Mustang Combat, Mustang Combat, Pay Tree, Cosmic Goose, and King HSC. Thank you very much, games, for the subs. Appreciate that. GP Legend, yeah. Ma maximum Velocity, X F Zero Climax, Japan only. Yeah. I wonder if they'll do those games. Like, I wonder if we'll get F-Zero Climax stages. They should do that shit. I'm alive. Those bomb cars. Ugh, I hate them. <sighs> alive is good. Yeah. Alive. Good. Why are we not doing predictions and channel point casino? Why are you not subbed? Touche. Cyber drunk. <laughs> Alraz is busy. He can't do it right now. Leave him alone. <laughs> he's, he's got this crazy Mega Man collection. And maybe he's spending his night looking at Mega Man stuff, all right? He already gifts subs out, like, 100 subs. What more do you want from this man? Oh, can you gift out, like, 100 subs and run a prediction for five hours? Can you do all that? Can you do all, all that stuff, Alraz? I think he's done enough. No, seriously, Alraz, get on the prediction stuff. Everybody's waiting. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Everybody's waiting! Peace. <laughs> 
sit there and run the fucking predictions. How about that? Why don't you pay Al Raz $500 and then he'll sit there and do it, I'm sure. Why don't you do that? You can get something for nothing. You want everything for nothing? The world owes you to live in? Maybe it's not hard. Maybe it just doesn't fucking feel like it. Guess what? We're never doing another fucking prediction on this fucking channel again. Because of you. How about that? How do you like that fucking answer? You can take your predictions and shove them up your fucking ass. How come I don't get what I want in this moment? Because you don't fucking get everything you fucking want. You want to run predictions? Go play fucking F099 on your own fucking channel and you run all the fucking predictions you want. Go run them. Why do I get what I want? Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, 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 give me, give me, give me, 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 me. It's what you fucking sound like. Why is, why is Mike, and the next thing, why is Mike so mean to his chat? No, I'm not. I've been perfectly nice to everybody the whole night. It's just this one fucking guy. Why do I, why do I get the thing that I want to get? Because fuck off, that's why. He put a heart. <laughs> I love you too. I, cyber drunk, I love you. That's, that fixes everything, right? <laughs> We're friends again, right? Plays better, mad? Oh, is that why you did it? You're just trying to make me mad so I'd play better? Hey, it worked. You had a very good idea. Red Zero, thank you very much for the tier three sub. My God, thank you. He says, what do you call Tetris hack with a Zelda theme? Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, um, at least you tried. It's more than some of these people. Thank you for that sub.
trouble here. I don't think I'm gonna make it. boost power to catch up to them. God damn. Was that the last one, though? Was that the fifth or the fourth? Oh, Lucky. What is the deal with this? They just mess with people. sub. Pierogies and Kilbasa, thank you very much for the sub. And Senketsu get the sub to Cyber Drunk. Thank you very much for doing that. He very much deserves it. Especially the fact that he's still in here after I yelled at him for five minutes. He deserves it. Get good, bro. I know. I'm very upset. Well, we'll do another one. Um, I'm going to have to get more tickets though. Is this man baby gaming? I think so. Don't you think so? It seems very much man baby gaming. I hate, they still make you wait through all this. Like, can I get out of this yet? Exit. They make that too slow to get out of it. Like continue, too slow to get back to the menu. Too slow. Oh, I do have enough tickets for... Okay, 15 minutes will be the next time I'll be able to do another uh, Grand Prix. So, okay. I'm going to take a quick break. We'll come back. I'll get some more tickets and stuff when I come back. And then we'll do another Queen's League battle. So I'll be back in uh, just a few. Here's some ice cream cakes That only Carvel makes They're made fresh every day Cause that's the Carvel way And while you're at the store Cookie Puss and more, and don't forget about Hug Me the Bear. The friendliest bear. Your participating Carvel dealer also has Hug Me the Bear and Cookie Puss dolls. You'll love them. Thank you. It's tough getting out of bed To face all the chores ahead Till that aroma comes through When the Folgers starts to brew The best part of waking up Is Folgers in your cup Folgers is mountain-grown coffee And the rich aroma of mountain-grown beans Makes Folgers one coffee made with the morning in mind Now things are feeling right You see the morning in a whole new light There's hard work to be done Another day yet to be won The best Hard awakening up, these soldiers in your cup. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. The Hickory and Ballyhoo, the lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. Stay at the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail, dinner, and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of all Broadway. Little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on. Atari presents its newest star. Vanguard. Just like the arcade. Six zones. Let me show them the mountain zone. Hey, check it out. Get the energy pod. So long, Harley Rockets. Hey, the rainbow zone is my turf. You can shoot in four directions. All right. I'll just freeze to the stripe zone. The wall. The wall. Yeah. But fellas, who destroys the gond? Luther, Luther destroys, destroys the gond. <laughs> Vanguard is here only from Atari. 
Now is the perfect time to reserve the all-sports package at Mount Airy Lodge, Pocono Gardens, or Strickland. Enjoy swimming, tennis, boating, beautiful accommodations, fabulous food, and a special price. Right now, this $110 value is yours for only $75. Call 1-800-441-4410. All you have to bring is your love of everything. Beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. Hey! All you have to bring is your love of everything. Beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. Somebody left me a comment on YouTube and said that they shot a homemade porn in the wine glass the champagne glass that you can <laughs> yeah, that you can shit in that you can fuck in that you can do whatever you want in anyway uh, we're playing hi <laughs> we're playing uh, F099 Uh, they released more tracks. There's like Queens League now. So if you're watching this later at some point on YouTube, this is like the Queens League shit. And then at some point after that, there'll be Kings League and whatever else. I guess this is going to be like a series of streams. They had to go and do this, right? Because, you know, I, like, I love F-Zero. I didn't expect this. They, I, I, I got to say something. You know what I like about this, too? that I feel like people aren't talking about. I like that they just dropped this game out of nowhere. It, what, I don't like it when, the, when they announce a game and then it, you don't get it for like two years. I hate that. They just, bam, they just dropped it. And there you go, they're F-099. And everybody's like, wait, what? F-099? And, and it comes out that day. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. No team battle. So I got nine minutes until this. I'm gonna do F-099. Uh, Carlo Co. 80, thank you very much for the sub. Did I play Mario 99 when it came out? Yeah, I tried it. I didn't really like it. I very much love you too, cyber drunk. Maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Can't be overhyped and disappointed. Yeah, that was my thing always. It's like if you're gonna hype people up, you're just gonna build them up for disappointment. You know, if if they like hype this up for like three years and then it came out and then people would be like, oh, it's not, it was not as good as I thought. But the fact that they just dropped this people seem to mostly be liking this. That's what you do. Just don't tell anybody shit. Just drop, just drop cool games. And don't, I don't think they ever needed to do any trailers ever, actually. Just don't, just forget about that whole idea. Just just like every once in a while, drop cool games. And then we're gonna be like, oh wait, what came out? What? Oh yeah, dude, I gotta get that. Dude, that should be like, that should be how it is. Like fucking trailers, and they were waiting like five years. How about that, like that Mario Wonder thing? What if that game it said we didn't? What if we didn't know it existed, and then all of a sudden it just drops, and then you're like, oh shit, I can play it right now. Cool, great. And then you're playing it. It's so much better that way. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. I don't. I don't care about these stupid trailers. Just drop the game. They, they have this whole thing where they feel like they need to build up hype or whatever. I hate that. Trying to get the damn 
sky rail and I couldn't get it. Cookie puss. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I have had cookie puss in my life. <laughs> they say, if I ever eat puss. <laughs> oh, shit. That should have been the question. That, that's how I like all games to be released. They just drop at the game store. Uh, oh, at the game store? At the store. What is the flavor of Cookie Puss? It's like a vanilla cake with like cookie in it and frosting. I think there's an ice cream cone on top or something. Or the noses or something. I forget. It's basically just like a vanilla ice cream cake, mostly. I think the bottom might be chocolate, I forget it. There's also Fudgy the Whale. There's Fudgy the Whale, and then there's uh, Hug Me Bear. I don't think they do Hug Me Bear anymore. I want an online petition for Carvel to bring back the Hug Me Bear, because you can get Cookie Puss. And you can get I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'd have to double check. Maybe if I went there and asked, maybe they do the bear. I don't know. I don't think they do that. I don't think they even know the bear exists. That that one, that character is like forgotten. But but you can still get cookie puss and, and fuck me, uh, bear or whatever. Are you the f uh, fudgy whale? I mean, fudgy the whale. Fuck me the bear. Whatever the fuck you call it. Whatever the fuck. Hey, Mike, you ever eat puff? <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm drunk. when I don't blow up. Hey, new KO record. That's cool. All right, can I do the Grand Prix yet? Two minutes. No, I didn't watch that show, Red Zero. Toys R Us is coming back. Well, they're in um, Macy's. You can go to Macy's and they have Toys R Us. It's like sort of, it's like a half store kind of thing. It's like a one-fourth store. <laughs> and airports? Oh, is it in airports? I didn't know that.
so you're Gen X, not a millennial. I don't give a shit. I hate that. Who cares? You're Gen X, or you're a boomer, millennial. Oh, like, what, who fucking cares? Oh, a stupid fucking conversation. I know, like, everybody, like, became so obsessed with this, like... When did when did this happen? You know, like you know, like in the '90s and the '80s, like nobody ever talked about boomers and millennials and like all this crap. This is like a now thing. Like in the past, like I don't know, six seven years. Why do people keep talking about this? When are we all gonna shut? When are you all gonna shut the fuck up about the fucking? Boomer, millennial, like Gen X, so like why do you, why do people talk about that so much now? It's not interesting. Like shut up. And then they're like, oh, you know, like the, they do like the okay boomer thing, dude. I, I swear to God, I went into I don't know what the store was. I went into some store and they had they had like OK Boomer like stickers and whatever. You know that it's like dead when they're selling stickers. Give it up. OK OK Boomer. OK, go get the sticker and shut the fuck up. Yeah, but you smell. I'm sure you do. Oh, you're saying that's why you talk about OK Boomer and millennials and all that because you because you suck and you smell. That makes sense to me. Now I get it. At least it, at least now it makes sense. That's what I that's what I would have figured. What's that? Your big collector of Funko Pops? You collect fleshlights? There you go. One ton muckfire, thanks for the sub. Alright, I'm in the Queen's League now, so I gotta like actually pay attention a little bit. I'm gonna try to make it through it. Copying me. I thought of it. Sure. Thank you, uh, Cakes888 for the sub. And Woodburner also sub. Thank you, guys. I like blew that up at the end. I'll take that. Good, good start. Wood burner. Thanks again for that sub. The 
Let's see, let's see what the chat's talking about here. They said, okay, uh, you can collect Mike's used anal beads. Good, you have a large collection of those. Yeah? You keep them in tin cans. It's <laughs> good. You collect pube schmegma. Okay, that's fantastic. Thanks, chat. This is good. This is my only chance to look at the chat, and this is what they're talking about. Great. You bleach your asshole? spinning. <laughs> I knew I was going to hit it. Damn you. disappointed what in the chat I wonder when he's going to bring up golden girls uh, earlier in the stream somebody instead of we were talking about kung fu so they said cunt fu because they're really funny um, and one time uh, B Arthur called Betty White a cunt that's all I got for you That is ingenious. <laughs> it's one way to look at it. You appreciate it? All right, here we go. I gotta pay attention.
don't know. 23, I thought it was a little better than that. Damn. It's tough. At least I'm alive. Mike should get a bowl cut. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about a bowl cut. Just like Dumb and Dumber. I make it happen right now. I might be able to kind of get it going right now, actually. Here we go. Bowl cuts and fleshlights. That'll be the name of my album. All whistling. How do you think that'll sell? I've got so many great ideas. Damn it, Don. <laughs> uh, damn. <sighs> damn. It's because I didn't keep the bowl haircut. It's true. If I would have kept the bowl haircut, I probably would have taken first place. That was, that's where I went wrong. <laughs> Payout. Somebody's doing it. I guess somebody decided to do it. You don't have to do it. Here, get me out of here. Like, this t this part drives me fucking crazy. Why can't I drop the menu? I get, seriously, I like watch all this. And then they're gonna make me do the stupid car thing, right? Or do they do that? I mean, like, are they gonna put me on the course? Oh, they didn't even do that. Maybe that only happens the last lap or something. Ugh, pro tracks. Change this thing, right? I could all, uh, okay. I'll start. Doing that, why not? Changing car time. I haven't played with a different car in a while, so. Your favorite car so far? I don't know. 
I guess it's the wild goose because I tend to not blow up as much. But maybe now that I've been playing more, maybe I'll. Let's see if I start blowing up more now that I'm using this. We'll see. Because the other one has the higher durability, right? This has the good grip. Tell us another Jack in it story. You go first. I'll tell it. Why don't I tell your Jack in it story? You tell a Jack in it story. Let's hear everybody's Jack in it stories. So, uh, one time, Mike, I was jacking it, and, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember, uh, I was, uh, I was in this, I was in the bathtub. Yeah. What, did, was that a good jacking it story, Mike? No, it was a bad one. why we don't tell these stories. You put a hydraulic jack under your car? Oh, there you go. That's what we were all thinking. seen it in a long time. That was terrible. That was called just terrible. But there you go. I blew up. So that's one blow up with the fire stingray. Maybe I should be... Why, why don't I do this car? Like, I, I never do this car. I'm going to do... I'm doing that one. I never do it. Why is my Bluetooth controller plugged in? Because I hate wireless controllers. If it doesn't have a wire, if there's, if there is not a wire running across my floor that can potentially trip me so that I can fall and potentially crack my head open, then I'm not happy. And that's why I like wires. Do you think that that's good reasoning? I think that it's brilliant reasoning. That way I'll crack my fucking head open!
worst place to use it. You fuck. God, everybody's crazy. take a wire and put it in your ceramics it'll split the clay do you want to poop like me I'm doing worse with, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try this crap. How he got stuck in the crack of his ass. You guys are leaving me with nothing right now. Welcome. Like welcome? Or like applause and applesauce? Welcome and welcome. Welcome and welcome. Okay? That's great, guys. problem is why do I expect anything else that's the actual problem so it's really my fault it's my problem it's a me problem this car is weak as shit and it's gonna blow up like fuck I thought I would try it Dude, I don't like the handling on this car. I don't, I don't think I, I think I don't like anything about this. So it got its energy back really quick. That was like the only thing. I mean, maybe that's good. Like. die right here. Dude, fuck that car. 
I hate that car. I think I already went through this on my first stream of this game. And I decided that I like that wild goose car. And now the chat is having me change the different cars and shit. I don't like the other cars. I'm going back to the wild goose car. Best cars are Stingray and Goose. Yeah, I think so. Like, if I'm gonna play anything else, it'll be this Stingray. But, like, this is the only car that, like, won't fucking blow up every two seconds. You're sorry, Mike. There's really nothing to talk about. De finally! The, you're the first person to ever fucking say that. Talking about... This guy's talking about a poop hammer. At least you fucking said that. Exactly. There's nothing to fucking talk about. That's right. Pro Wrestle Guy. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. 64 month sub anniversary. Well, I appreciate that if you've been subbed that long. Have you played F099? Do you like it? Do you, what's your favorite kind of cheese? lap, right? Or was it not? Was that the last lap? What the hell even happened? I mean, if, if it was the third, then I understand. I thought that was the end. That wasn't a Grand Prix, was it? <laughs> no, I don't think it was. Third, oh, it was the third lap. Okay, that makes more sense. I was going to say, I thought I finished the, went through the finish line. Alright, so this starts in a minute, minute and fifty. So I tell you, did I tell you about when I was walking through the park? I was walking through the park. I was walking through the park. I think I might have already told you this, but I forgot. So I was walking through the park, and I saw there's there's like a field, right? And there's all these seagulls on the field. <laughs> did I already, I already told you about this? I think I already told this before. Crispin Glover gave you a, a lap dance. Wait, what? It, what? You clipped it? Thank you for clipping it. Um, anyway, so I look out in the field and it's like all these seagulls. But mixed in with these seagulls, there was a couple crows. There was like one or two crows and all, like all these seagulls. And I was like, that's that's weird. It's like all these seagulls, but they're I guess they have a couple crow friends or whatever. That was a little odd. They were like having their like little meeting, and I thought maybe they were 
thinking about joining forces or something to take over humanity. As I'm walking, as I'm walking, and I'm looking, I'm, I just see these seagulls and a couple of crows. And I thought about what their conversation would be, like these birds. So you have all these seagulls and these crows, and they're having their meetup, and they're and they want to. Pro- I don't know who the hell knows what birds think about, but I'm just like maybe that's why they're meeting up. Maybe they're going to join forces and take over. So I thought about what they would say to each other. What would what would their conversation be? And the birds would say something like, "Divided we fall, united we stand." Like that. And as I'm having this momentary thought, I realize that I said the last part out loud. Most of this conversation was like in my own head as I'm looking at these birds. But the last part, I went like out loud because I, I was like so deep in thought about this. And these people are like walking by. And then I thought about, from their perspective, what they were seeing. And literally, they just saw... And I, by the way, I wasn't, like, really loud or anything. I was just, like, kind of talking, my, like, mumbling to myself. And I was just kind of like, <laughs> like that. And these people, like, walk by, and they're, like, looking at me. And to, to from their perspective, they don't know any of that. They just see a guy in a park making birds, uh, bird sounds. So I'm always gonna think about these two people walking by me, and I'm, I'm just like, kah, 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 kah. they don't know, they don't know. See, this is why context is so important. This is gonna be the Queens League. Let's try it again. I have three tickets. Let's go. Here we go. Thank, thank you, Omizi. Sheezy for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. What's up? See you at midnight. Context makes it just as bad. Yeah, it doesn't really help, does it? That's true. That's a good point. It didn't make it any better having the context. <laughs> it's very true. You're a big fan of the idea of a beagle uprising. Oh, all the beagles take over. The beagle boys, perhaps. All right, here we go. Queens League. trouble here.
I, did, I actually did I make it. <laughs> I still made. I made it just barely. Wow, that was terrible. Mike is the only streamer where I have to look where his camera is on the interface or it blends in. Because you don't need you don't need me. Don't worry about me. These uh, my streams are about the games. This is just so that you know, like I'm here and I exist. Like who fucking cares? Hi, hello, hi. I'm not important. Let's talk about the game. Peekaboo. Somebody, peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo, everybody. Oh, you wanted the bowl haircut. My, my mistake. That's true. You know how things like come back in fashion sometimes? Will the bowl haircut ever come back into fashion where we're just walking around and everybody's got bowl haircuts? How many years do we gotta wait until that goes on? Or will that just never happen? What if there's like a five month period where every, like just everybody's got the bowl haircut? What would have to happen? What are the chain of events that would have to happen for everybody to get a bowl haircut? That's what I want. That's what I'm, I'm asking the important questions here. Hey! I'm not ready for that. I'm not talking about bowl haircuts. I forgot I was playing F-Zero. I completely forgot I was playing this game. See, the Retro Junkie 83 is talking about these bowl haircuts, and then I can't even think about it. I forgot that I was in playing this. I don't know. I could I could have been playing anything right there. It could have been Zelda, like any like any game. I wasn't paying any attention to it. None. He completely forgot he was streaming. I knew I was streaming, but I was just, I was only thinking about the bowl haircut. I wasn't even thinking about the game. And then I was like, oh yeah, I'm in the middle of like a fucking Queens League thing. I need to be like paying attention. That's what happens. Do you think a CRT shader would make this look better? No, I don't like how any of those look. I've never seen one yet that I like. I like only, um, Real CRTs. That's just personal preference. So, some people like them, and that's fine. I, I just don't care for it. But I mean, you're, you're like asking me. That's my opinion. Another person might think that's a great idea. I don't know. The CRT on Loop Hero was pretty decent. Yeah, like some games are better than others with the CRT filters. I will, I will say. Sometimes they're like. I've never seen one that like is perfect, but some are definitely better than others. Shimmerman up there. What if Armin Shimmerman is like really into F099? <laughs> That's 
that's what I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna go to one of these conventions. I'm gonna ask them a question. You know, everybody's like, well, no, it's season five of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. No, 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 none of that. I want to know. I want to know what car Armin Shimmerman plays as in F Zero. Is he Wild Goose? Is he Blue Falcon? Is he Doctor Stewart? The world may never know. Mike, squeeze my balls. What if I squeeze them until they pop? What do you think about that? <laughs> do you still see CRTs on the streets? Sometimes, yeah. Occasionally, usually, uh, actually, I saw some uh, like two CRTs sitting by somebody's trash can not too long ago, and I stopped to look, and I got out, and I looked, and they were pieces of shit. That's the one thing is like you can find CRTs, but a lot of times they're not good ones. But occasionally, if you're lucky, you might find. I have found good CRTs that people are throwing out, but a lot of times they're crap. You gotta like check them out and see. Any chance of you playing Star Wars Knights of the Republic for the original Xbox? I would rather uh, do anything than ever talk about Star Wars ever again. Let's see, Star Wars, things I would like do still. Maybe like the Super Nintendo games. Um, I kind of maybe feel like maybe someday I'll try that Empire Strikes Back game on NES again. That's probably about it. Even those ones, like, I'm like, I kind of like those Super Nintendo Star Wars games, but I don't, like, really want to do that, because then I have to, then I'm doing the stream, and then everybody's going to be talking about, like, Darth Maul and Jar Jar Banks and all that, and I just don't want to have the conversation. I'm so tired of it, so I kind of just don't even want to play anything Star Wars ever. I really can't stand it. YouTube, like, has recommendations pop up, like, a bunch of, like, football recommendations will come up, so I'll click, like... Do not recommend or whatever. All these like Star Wars recommendations come up, and I'm, I'm constantly like clicking "Do not recommend," "Do not recommend," and they oh I can't get rid of it. Like it doesn't work. This "Do not recommend" thing. How about like you should be able to type in like something, and then it will never come. Like I want to be able to type in uh, things I don't want to say like on YouTube, and I, I don't I want to be able to type in okay Star Wars. And then I will never see a thing ever again that pops up. Unless I, you know, take that option off. I don't want to see it. I don't fucking care. I'm over it. Dude, I saw the fucking Star Wars movies on VHS tapes in the 80s. That was Star Wars to me. I, I fucking, I don't like the fucking prequel movies. None of it. Return of the Jedi. I don't even like Return of the Jedi that much with those stupid fucking Ewoks. Like, I'm kind of out even then. Like, the first movie, and then Empire Strikes Back, and then I'm done. It's all over. The third movie's like, all right. There's the parts that I like, but that's it, and that's it. I don't even fucking want any other Star Wars anything ever. I don't need it. And then they keep making these fucking movies. Who is that, the Kathleen Kennedy or whatever? People are like, oh, why? When is she gonna get fired? Or whatever? Doesn't she like own it practically, or or some shit, or pra you know, like practically? So it's like, how are you gonna get rid of the? It's like you're gonna get fire the boss, you know? Good luck on that one. I mean, you just keep having these crap fucking movies. They're gonna keep happening. How many times have I fucking had this fucking conversation on here? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna play Knights of the Old Republic. I let, fucking would rather play fucking almost any other fucking game. <laughs> Is my answer to you. Hey, at least I'm answering your question. I'm gonna fucking blow up. God damn it. This is tough. 
fair enough. I appreciate your answer. Hey, like, right? At least I answered it. Speaking of Star Wars, oh my god. Have you watched the new Ass Ass Suka show? I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck you're saying to me. That's a show? I don't know anything about it. I don't even fucking watch television, man. Like There's nothing good. I watch old shows. What the fuck is television? Yeah, I used to watch You Can't Do That on television. That was good. <laughs> seven of Nine's overrated. She's alright. I don't know. I don't mind Seven of Nine. Oh, do you mean like how she looks or the character? See, I'm thinking of the character. I don't mind the character. I like the doctor. Do I have any cool autographs? No, I have Leonard Nimoy's autograph. Um, I don't have a lot of autographs. The only autographs I have are ones that um, I would get in person because then I know for a fact that the person actually signed it. Because a lot of times you, you like or, you, you buy like a signature without you know you just like buy one. You don't know if the person like actually signed it or not. So I only have ones that I actually got like the person to sign something like in front of me. Um, I have a couple of uh, actually wait. I think hang on, stop. hang on a second. This is real. I had Shatner sign this in like this is like 20 years 20 years ago or something. But I know that he signed it because he signed it in front of me. So I mean I had that. I don't have a lot of signatures though. Oh no, yeah I do. Never mind. I got a lot. I got a bunch of so I collect like uh, Uncle Scrooge stuff and I have like a ton of things with Karl Barks' signature on it. So I mean there's that. That's my cool signatures. This is the Karl Barks. Like, there you go. Uh, I'm glad I thought of that. I need more tickets. I'm doing badly. Paul Rubens. I don't, I never, uh, I never, like, met Paul Rubens, but I went, I went to the Pee Wee's Playhouse show, so I saw him on stage, but I never, like, talked to him or, like, met him in that kind of environment where you can get, like, an autograph or anything. I need to get slimed, like in Ghostbusters. Yeah, you, you ever see Dan Aykroyd talk about seances? I know we all talk about like, oh, the crystal skull and all that stuff, everybody knows about that, but you ever listen to him talk about seances? So like when he was a kid, I heard him talk about this, I might not get this exactly right, but his family or his relatives would have seances, like actually. And according to him, <laughs> they did this seance where there was a trumpet like floating around the room. And then Dan Aykroyd's dad was there and he like backs him up on it. <laughs> that there's like this trumpet like floating around a room at like a seance. And I'm just like, and then later on, and then he starts talking about that, you know, he always talk, talks about that scene from Ghostbusters. I is, we talked about this before on stream. Like, he's, you know, I've done these, like, video game streams where I'm playing Ghostbusters games and all that. And I, like, theorized that Ghostbusters, you know, because he wrote it, right? So I theorized that Ghostbusters happened because of, like, the, the blowjob scene. Like, I feel like, you know, like, the first... 
I, I, like, I was making a joke, right? And I was like, I feel like that was Dan Aykroyd's first thought, was like, oh, ghost, getting the blowjob from a ghost. I think there, like that might be like half true, because I've heard him like talk about that. I mean, I know, I'm sure there's like a lot more to it than that. But he was he did this I think it was this interview he did with like and his dad was there and he he's always talking about this the scene or it might have been another it might have been another like podcast or something. I forget the what the fuck I was watching. But I think that really is like it's the, like a subject that he's actually like really interested in. <laughs> it's like these ghost blowjobs. And I kind of, I kind of like that. If that's like what originated Ghostbusters, I think that's fucking hilarious. Is is he was like, imagine getting a, imagine getting your cock sucked by a ghost. He's like, you know what? That that should be a movie. And then he fucking made it. That's the best. <laughs> you know, completely crazy. <laughs> He fucked the ghost. <laughs> what gave him the blowjob? In Ghostbusters, there's the part where it unzips his pants and it's like sucking his cock. And his eyes go cross-eyed, that whole part. Yeah, he, I don't know. Your ex was so full of air, you think you've been there? But um, boom. Guy walks into a doctor's office. Doctor says, that, that had that vibe. I am not getting tickets fast enough. Earn a total of 50 pricks tickets. Fucking idiot, he doesn't even know it's pre, like Grand Prix. There's another YouTube comment. By fucking idiots. Your friend got fucked by a ghost. The ghost was turned on. Cool. <laughs> That's great. in Santa's lap as a kid and then tell the next person in line that Santa stinks. Not as in a kid, not as a kid, but uh, a year or two ago. I did that. That's always, that's always a fun thing to do. Just fart in his lap. Thanks for the question. It's a great questions.
somebody. Don't hit me. Oh, that was, I thought there was one more. He, I always do that. What's one thing about Goat Simulator you found the most disturbing? like nothing it's just a super game and it, it's kind of funny I don't know I don't like when these game designers try to put things into games to like make them disturb disturbing oh here's this creepy thing in the background like that doesn't disturb me what disturbs me is when I'm playing like some of these NES games and they have like fucked up like controls and shit like the like the fucking end the whole end of like King's Night that's disturbing you know they play like these horror games and it's like oh the ghost is in the mirror or some crap like I hate that shit so all the games are the same stupid shit trying to like scare you with these stupid fucking games. I don't like that genre. Until somebody somebody needs to fix that genre and make it good. And then somebody go, oh, well, why don't you fix it, Mike? I'm not, I don't fucking design games. I'm not doing it. Let a fucking game designer do it. Somebody fucking comes, and not my fucking job to fucking do everything. If you think you think good, then why don't you do it? Shut the fuck up. I wonder if the leaderboard resetting also resets your ticket count. I hope not. Uh, I w wouldn't think that the tickets are related to the leaderboard. But I, I showed the other thing earlier. There is there is a permanent score thing. Um, after if I, if I can fucking remember, I'll, I'll show it after, again after this. Jump scare, yeah, like the jump scares. Oh my god, there's like all these games. I feel like I don't even know if they're like making as many of those games anymore. But I feel like like seven years ago it was always just like, like these jump scare games, and it's like you're just always like I don't know, you're in some basement or you're in some like house or some garage or some goddamn thing like that. Or on a, like there's one you're like on a boat or something, and then. You just walk around for hours and read, and you just read notes and pointless crap, and like it's just. And then finally, like after a couple hours, like you turn a corner and like the mon there's like a monster standing there and he screams and then you die and then like the game resets and like all that. It's just like what the fuck. Who makes this shit? Fucking waste of time. Yeah, so I don't like those fucking games. <laughs> I don't. I played. I played like a bunch of those kind of kind of stupid fucking games. They all. They're all the same fucking thing. They all fucking suck. So yeah, you won't be seeing me play that kind of shit because I think they're fucking stupid. Now it doesn't necessarily that doesn't mean that I don't necessarily like like horror games like you could make a good horror game but not with that not it's that it's that type of gameplay that I'm talking about like that kind of fucking stupid jump scare bullshit Here, Doom Doom is a horror game there you go I like Doom cuz the game itself is like good I will pay $200 for a ticket for the Avengers movie if it's the very last time I ever have to fucking hear about Avengers ever again. 
I will sit and I'll watch the whole fucking three hour movie because they all, all got to be three hours and I will sit there and I will do my best to enjoy it but the deal is that is the last one and they and then after that I, they, after that fucking movie they could never make another one and then never fucking talk about it ever fucking again I'd be glad every fucking one of these fucking franchises Star Wars I pay $500 I see one more fucking Star Wars thing cause you know what I get after that if I go see it then I never fucking have to hear about it again you want my money that's how you make it you make the fucking last one uh, I would be glad to do that for every one of these fucking franchises. All these fucking dead franchises. They won't honor that deal. Yeah, exactly. Of course they won't honor that deal. They won't ever do that. Because they need to have the money to keep coming forever. And we gotta keep hearing about these same, same stupid franchises that have been around forever for the rest of our fucking lives. Till we fucking die. And we still have the same fucking things. And nobody's gonna make anything new. And it's just gonna be the same fucking like 40 franchises. It's gonna be like Fast and the Furious 97. You think there's enough of those fucking things already? I think you've heard this conversation before. You have! Because if people can, they bring up a different subject then. They make all these horror games, but to date, there still really isn't a good Frankenstein game. Uh, you know how I'm weird about NES games? I kind of like Frankenstein Monster Returns on NES. And it's a Frank. It's it is like you fight Frankenstein at the end of it. I don't know. It's that game's kind of bad too, though. It's like that game's sort of a mixture of like it's kind of good, it's kind of bad. That one probably it's kind of half and half. It's not like terrible, but it's it's, it's like got some good to it, but it's also kind of crappy. That's one that I kind of enjoy though. So I don't mind that game. But if you mean you mean like good like good good like like it's an awesome game, no, I wouldn't say that it's like awesome. Um, like a really good Frankenstein game. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, the closest thing you're gonna get, I guess, is Castlevania, and you fight the Frankenstein monster in Castlevania, I guess. But the whole game isn't Frankenstein related. So yeah, if you mean a game that's just all only about Frankenstein. Yeah, I guess probably not really. And there's like the like there's like jokey cartoony uh, Frankenstein games. It's like that what was that other one? Doctor Doctor Franken or whatever. I can't remember the name of that one. I didn't really like that game though. That game, kind of, I don't know. I think that game kind of sucks. Frank and fuck. game. Nah, it's not. It's not very good. And I like Atari stuff, so, but that's not. I don't know. I appreciate you answering my questions even when you're busy with everything else. Did, did I answer one of your questions? Was that was the Frankenstein question yours? I think that was somebody else. What one did I answer? I don't remember. Sorry. Amnesia. Yeah, that crap. I just don't care. It, uh, constant tension rather than jump scares. I don't know. I just don't care. 
any of my games to be like have action. Oh, Mary Shelley, SNES. Uh, let me play that real quick again. Oh yeah, that game. I I played a little bit of that before. Um, I remember not liking it. I would like try it again. I remember that being like not good. I forgot that game existed. I got two tickets. I gotta keep doing this. I gotta get one more ticket. That one sucked. Did it suck? I don't know. I don't remember that one too well. The, for the Frankenstein nerd video, I played through the the NES game. The other ones that were in that, James did, so I don't really know them as much. That's what we would do a lot of times, it, especially if a video had like multiple games and stuff. I'd play one, he'd play the other, that kind of shit. What is the best Wawa sandwich to get to power you up before a stream? Uh, I don't know. I, I, if I do like that, I get like those bowls. They do bowls. Um, I don't really um, get their get that that much. Um, Usually with like me and Wawa, I would I would drink their coffee. I don't know. I just like like the taste of their, their coffee. It was more. It was always more about that. So you'd always like see me like drinking coffee, like Wawa coffee on stream or whatever. But it was more like that. As far as I didn't. I mean, I've had their hoagies. It's just not. It's not like a. It's not like a tradition that I eat like a fucking Wawa like hoagie or something. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't really have a good answer. It's the, it's the coffee that I would have. That's my answer to you. It's not the hoagie, it's the coffee. <laughs> Fuck. I need enough, uh, oh crap, I need enough points here that I can do this Grand Prix. I want to do this Queen's League thing one more time. That last one was so bad. I've been doing pretty bad today. Last stream I did this, I, I did a lot better. Playing like crap today. I'm hoping to have like one good, like, one good one today has been like nothing. All these new courses and stuff are really fun though. It's good. I mean, I like that it's challenging. I mean, for sure. Alright, so hopefully at least I got enough points to do this. Wawa's A plus on coffee and about C on everything else. Yeah, uh, yeah, they have like pizza now and I tried it and I don't like it at all. They had it years and years ago, like, I don't know, five plus years ago, seven years ago, and it was much better then. I don't, I don't like it, you know. To be honest with you, if I like get food from Wawa, it's, pr it's usually like the, um, It'll be like the section that has like fruit or like yogurt or something like that. That's like what I eat from there, if I'm there and I'm gonna get something. All right, uh, so. Oh, there's only 55 seconds? Oh, thank God. All right, so I have the tickets. All right, here we go. I, all right, I gotta like seriously focus now because I wanna like try to do well. And drawn unicycle, thanks for the sub. When 
was the last time you had McDonald's, Mike? I don't... I'm, like, on... I, I don't even eat, like, carbs very much. I try to stay away from it. If I'm having, like, a sandwich or something, I'll, like, I'll take the the bread off. Um, I, I'm trying to do a lot of, like, chicken and fish and fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I'm very boring now. I don't really, dr I don't really drink alcohol um, very seldomly. Uh, the co the coffee that I drink is doesn't even have caffeine. I do decaffeinated coffee. I'm like extremely boring. I try not to even eat like much stuff that has much sugar in it or added. Sh I stay away from like added sugars. I'm super boring. I hate to tell you the truth, but I'm like super fucking boring now. <laughs> this is the truth. Oh, also like other stuff with caffeine. Like I don't drink soda anymore barely at all i'm having a hard time kicking that though because like i feel like i got like addicted a bit to the caffeine um so sometimes i feel like i'll get like a caffeine headache and that that'll be the only time if it's like i feel like okay i got like a headache and i can't get rid of it i might have like a little bit of a coffee or a soda or something with ca caffeine in it to like get rid of the headache but that's like it I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do like absolutely no caffeine, no added sugars. Just, I'm, so like I said, it's super fucking boring. That's, that's the honest truth. So I don't eat any like, any of that kind of shit. Alright, let me focus on this because now I'm. I need to make this. Alright, this is only three or four, so I need this. I need the energy. Oh, here, here we go. Good. Oh, I missed that. using my speed power up because I want to make sure I make it and I have the health and all that. All right. All right. Good enough. Made it. 45. Not great, but at least we made it through. Lettuce switch. I mean, I've done that. Where you don't use the bun and you use the, uh, what's it called? Just like lettuce or whatever. Sparkling water, yeah, I'll have sparkling water. Mike eats lettuce and drinks decaf. I mean, basically, <laughs> the headache is from the withdrawal from the caffeine. Yeah, pretty much. sweeteners oh yeah like also that's another thing too well I'm, I'm not having any types of soda like I don't drink diet soda anymore and I don't drink regular soda so no just like no soda at all because all those like artificial sweeteners and all that I think that that's bad and then like the regular sugar I think is bad I just think sugar in general is bad and like so much stuff has sugar in it things that you wouldn't even think about you know so and I and when I talk about that, like I'll, I eat like fruit and stuff, like I'll eat strawberries and berries and things like that. But and that has like natural sugars. I'm talking about like added sugars. I don't. I try to stay away from. It.
I'm more like focused on like just staying alive here than really winning anything. Cause I just like I would just like to make it through. Since you stopped by, was a surprise seeing you in the mirror there. Oh, oh, dude, oh, what are you playing? You're saying you're saying you were ahead of me. <laughs> That's what you're saying. He's saying he's telling me in a nice way that he's he's kicking my ass. <laughs> See you in the rearview mirror, Mike. See you in the rearview mirror, loser. that's ever happened. I always thought about that too. Like what if the sky rail like drops me in like a not so great place? I've never had that happen. It's usually like the sky rail thing is usually pretty good about like not doing that. Dude, I gotta, I want to see what the fuck happened there. I feel like, 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 like fucking Skyrail, like, kind of fucked me there. Can we get a replay of that? Yeah, actually, like, I wonder if I can. I don't know if anybody. Dude, that was, that fucking. See, now I don't have the fucking tickets. Dude, I didn't want to end like that. Can I do pro tracks? Dude, if I do, wait a second. I do pro tracks, maybe I can get some tickets really quick. I want to do this again. Dude, that fucking sucked. I'm gonna do this again. The sky rail didn't drop you on the track. What the fuck? Somebody clip it. I don't... I mean, it, I, it was probably my fault, but, like, I don't know. I feel like that was... I don't know. I'd have to see it. Like it ended at a bad time or something, or I don't know. Once you start your descent back to the track, you're responsible for staying on. Yeah, it started like sending me down, but then I guess I was in a bad spot. That's like the first time in this game, a, like a bad sky rail thing has ever happened. The sky rail has always benefited me. It ended just before the turn. Oh, retro type, are you playing? Are there a few people? How does that work? Like to where you can, because I think a couple people have been, have played when I'm playing, right? Is there a way to like set that up or you just gotta be like lucky or something? Like how do you how are you making that happen? Or are we the only 99 people in the world who are playing? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, this is actually much less popular than you think it is, Mike. I 
can't even, I can't look at anything right now, so sorry. Seven? Okay. It's better than I've been doing. At least I was in the top ten. Hey, I took out all the people, too. Well, was any of that you, people? Once you start, you're sent back. Oh, yeah. No, I was asking about, like, how they're getting in. You, you would join, but you're too drunk? Oh, is it kind of like if you join at the same time? Super shame. Yeah, how, how though? S0 is just for pro drivers. If you are a noob, you should go back to... Oh, do you mean like what play the original game? It's possible to time joining the same games. I see. So basically, if you see me because I'm streaming so that you, you know that I'm about to start a game. So if you try to start the game when I'm starting the game, then you might get in a game with me. Is that, that's basically like the only way. And that, and then even that, it's like maybe. You, you happen to join when I join. So that's the only way for it to work, I see. Because I was wondering, I was like, how does that even happen? You were in a race with me, or Sableye was in a race with me earlier. Did you beat me? Did I beat you? And the other thing is sometimes, like a lot of times your, your usernames are different on the Switch than, verse, than in the Twitch chat, right? So it's hard for me to know. You have to make your name the same like thing in both places for me to even have like any idea. No, you suck. Oh, did I win? Mike wants to beat us. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do I want out of this game? It's a good question, actually. I mean, it's nice to win. I, I mean, I'd like to win. I'd like to... I guess, like, when I turn this on, I'd like to have... Um, I like doing the Grand Prix part of it. I don't even necessarily need to win. I like to do the Grand Prix and, like, if I if I placed in, like, the top three or something like that, that'd be nice. But, I mean, there's, like, a lot of people playing. I don't, like, necessarily... I don't know. I just... I think I just like playing this game. It's just fun to play. Um, and I, I feel like relatively, I get like a lot of satisfaction out of this it, just if I do like fairly well. Like a minute ago, I, I was like in the top 10 and it's like, I felt pretty good about that. You know, like that's all. It's like, I don't have to like be like, oh God, I didn't win every single time or something. It's like, whatever. If I happen to, and I have taken uh, first place in some of the races before, and that's nice, but I don't know. I don't think, I don't think when I do get those first place wins that it 
gives me that much more satisfaction than just doing like pretty good. You know? I mean, it's nice, but it's like whatever. I really think it's more about the fact that this game is just really fun fun to play. Now that I think about it, honestly, like the, the most fun part of this game is if you if you win, if you take first place. I can't enjoy my, I can't like even enjoy this game at all unless I'm taking first place, is the actual truth. It's very bitter and sour if I'm, if I'm not in first. <laughs> That's the real truth. I, if you're not in first place, then you're a loser, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Thank you, Super Jeff. Like, I feel like the Grand Prix means a lot more to me than the regular race. When I'm just doing, like, the normal races, it's like, whatever. I win, win lose, like, whatever. I, I'm just trying to get the tickets to play the Grand Prix. That's the only time when it, it really matters to me is doing the, is doing the Grand Prix. When, once it goes into the Grand Prix, then I'm like, okay, now I'm, like, trying to, like, pay attention. Because I, like, I would like to... Like even if I don't take first in the Grand Prix, if I, if I if I make it through the five races at all at, without blowing up or whatever, then I'm happy. I guess that that's the answer. Doing the Grand Prix and making it through the five races, that's what I like. If I did the same thing and I took and I did take first place in it, great. But that would just be like an extra kind of cherry on top, but. Yeah, so there you go. That's that's what I like about the game, the the Grand Prix and trying to make it through all of all five races. Like that's kind of my goal with with this. These uh, these like single races are just like kind of like whatever. Yeah. You are racing me? See, I don't know what everybody's name is. You got you guys got to make your names the same names as what you got in the. Uh, in the chat, and then I, then I might be able to see like see somebody on. The, I have yet to ever see anybody on the track that I recognize their name like from the from the chat. I mean that would be cool, but what is a say retro type? Now I'm trying to read them. Gatekeeper. I don't know that that's anybody in my chat. Poop. There's somebody named Poop. I mean, that sounds like that sounds like somebody in my chat. That good sky rail. Whew. Still that bad. Damn. Everybody's really good. You guys are good. <laughs> Actually, it looked like most of the people I was playing with were like from Japan or something. See if I go through this, let's see. Oh, 
Super Shane. There you go. You beat me. Peas in my chat. I don't know anybody else. Is anybody else? You got 90th? Hang on a second. Let me see 90th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Minky. He got 90th. So he was playing too. So, so we had two people? Was anybody else playing that one? So Minky and Super Shane? That might be it. Well, that's cool. You're cra you crashed out, you were at the bottom? Crap, I didn't say. Ugh, need more tickets still. I should just farm tickets. Like off stream or something. <laughs> You were in that race. We burned through tickets so fast on the weekend. Yeah, I guess you like play a bunch during the week and save up tickets so that way on the weekend you can. So that's probably what I should. I should probably like just play it here and there and like have a bunch of tickets so that if I stream this game, I have. I haven't really been playing this. I've been playing. Well, you know what I've been playing. I've been playing like that Project Overkill game. Which I, um, somebody told me that, I thought I was, n like, near the end of it, like, I thought there was only a couple other stages, but somebody said, like, that game was, like, actually, like, really long, so, like, I, I would probably have to do, like, a whole bunch of streams to, like, actually beat that game. I think I didn't realize, um, if, you know, if that, what that person was saying was true. I guess that game is a lot longer than I thought it was, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep going with it. I like it, but... It's like, how many hours am I gonna play it? It's a cool game, though. It's definitely, uh, it's it's really tough, but it's uh, I I like it. What one thing they need to do with that? Well, what they need to do, but like what they needed to do back then was uh, they should have made the melee attack its own individual button. Because you have to like go like scroll through to get to the melee, and that's pretty crap. That's something I really don't like about that game. And the me the melee is not that great anyway, though. So it's like I should have waited longer. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> See what I mean? Like these races, these like single races, always kind of just like I'm like half paying attention because I just want to get to the damn like Queens League. Hey, that was good. You know, it'd be awesome. I would to blow up somebody in my chat. <laughs> I want to blow up Super Shane or somebody. Oh, Retro Type. It was it was that one of the dudes? I think that might have been one of the guys. Better than 50, like last time. It was just crap. I only took out two. Racer in chat. How many times do you think Captain Falcon died piloting these tracks, but was resurrected for another race? What in the history of like everybody playing F Zero? What a thought. Super Shane did good again. You're doing good, Super Shane. Oh, 
Oh, look at me and Minky. You, Minky, like last time, you were like 90th. You did better that time. There you go. And, uh. And retro. Yeah, it is retro type. Or is retro type? I beat retro type. You are an epic loser if you don't get first place every single time. I agree. What the hell? Pooey yeah, and 99. There you go. I still need more. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. You're downloading and now it crashed into me. Sounds good. I mean, everybody's crashing into each other all the time. So, I mean, <laughs> that's what you do. Darth Mewtwo, 88, thanks for the sub. No, I saw that you beat me by one. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. How many wins do you have? Uh, my last stream, I had some wins. <laughs> Today, I'm not doing too hot, to be honest with you. I'm hoping to have something good happen before the stream's over. Out. 
Oh, and I was gonna show the, uh, well, how much did I get the tickets? So I have the tickets, and then I have... Oh, man, I just missed it. I shouldn't have spent so much time talking. Oh, I don't, I still don't have the, enough tickets, never mind. Man, it's taking me forever to get these tickets. All right, so ne never mind, I didn't have the damn tickets anyway. God, it's taking forever. So, anyway, so this workshop, the records is what I was talking about. The records view lifetime stats and stuff, whatever, so you can, you know, see all your crap there. And that this stays where the leaderboard is going to go and what, by Monday or something, like in two days or something, so... So I just say you know, I'm just gonna do this just enough to I want to do one more, try one more Grand Prix and then I'm gonna stop. Uh, critical sarcasm. Thanks for the sub. I don't really like the team event things very much. I mean, should I? Well, maybe I should do a team event because you got. Can you guys get into a team event thing? I'm doing another single race right now. We should do a team. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those team ones. I feel like I don't really like them that much. Because it's like, let's say I race really well. I I can still like lose because what, what if the rest of the team sucks and then we lose? It's like, I don't know. I kind of I don't like that. Yeah, the team event is just easy to get in. You're not a fan of the team battle? Yeah, I don't really like it. You don't like team either, because you're always on a shitty team. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know. I just don't really care. Or what if I'm not racing very well, and then our team wins, and then I feel like, I don't know, you know? I just don't like it. What do you think of VTubers, Mike? That's like, so, uh, that's like what the, where somebody has like a Garfield's face that's talking and it's like not a real person, right? Or, or whatever. <laughs> it's like a cartoon character, right? So, as people have brought that up before, and what people have said to me is that, I. I don't know if it's true, I'm just saying what people have said to me is that the Inspector Gadget thing that I did that is like the first VTuber thing? Because I guess it's like, what, YouTube, right, because on YouTube, and then it's like a cartoon character, so it's kind of like that. It's not streaming, though, but it's like YouTube, and it's a VTuber, right? Well, so I guess to answer that question then, do they, do those people make YouTube videos? Because I've, I've seen people do streams where it'll be like somebody with like a cartoon character talking instead of a real person. But, so I know that that exists as far as like streaming goes, but is, is that also like on, on YouTube? Like are there YouTube videos like that too? Because if, if there are, then maybe that is one of the early examples of like, of that, but I mean, I didn't think of it that way. It's just like, it, in my mind, it was like, you know, you're doing like, it's like what they do with like Roger Rabbit or whatever. It's like, it, you know, there's a person and a cartoon character talking. It's like, there you go. How about that? Then fucking Roger Rabbit is the first VTuber or whatever. But but not even because in the early like in the le like 1910s or 1920s, like Walt Disney used to do the Alice comedies, and that had live action and cartoon characters like together in that. So it's like, it's been going on going on since like the 1910s. So I don't know, I don't know what the fuck the difference is. <laughs> I'm doing super bad this time too, by the way. Was that just a bomb car? <laughs> Actually, I think I was in like seventh place or something until then. Hey, 
Heck yeah, I'm a VTuber, not Garfield, but yeah. So true, Mike was the first. Oh wait, you do that? You are you do the VTuber thing? So I, you say that I'm the first? I don't really understand though. Because like I just said, like there was like cartoon characters and live action people in like fucking like Roger Rabbit, right? So how, why would the Inspector Gadget thing be first? Wouldn't like... Or, like, the, like I just said, like, the fucking Alice comedies from the 1910s. Why isn't that the first thing? I don't see, I don't know what the fuck the difference is. Because Is that because it's, that's not on the internet? And the thing I did was on the internet? Is that, the, is that why? Yes, I'm a VTuber, and since you were Inspector Gadget, you were virtually a character online. Oh, because I'm, because I was speaking, because it was me doing the voice of the character, and you guys are doing the voice of the character. But that's you. Whereas like Roger Rabbit is like a voice actor doing that, and then you have like fucking Eddie Valiant over here and also that that's the movie so my thing was an internet thing and then I am that character talking that, okay I guess it's because people are idiots that are unaware of the past well, no, that's why I'm having the conversation because I'm like, but the the other, but those things are movies, and you know that that was like theatrical stuff or stuff that was on TV, and this is like internet. I don't know. All right, so now I have enough tickets, but I got I got to wait another 12 minutes, so I'm just gonna keep going. I, I'll. I don't like the team battle. I'm not gonna do. The, I don't like the team battles. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the regular F zero nine. So if you want to join. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm trying to help a couple of people trying to join these streams. I don't even really understand how this works. I guess if you're just lucky enough to get into it. Did that help? Does that help when I do that? Like, I don't know. Because the other ones weren't online. I told you, I only made that video anyway because I was just pissed off about how YouTube... That whole, vi that whole video, I've told this a million times, but that whole the point of that whole video is I was annoyed at YouTube. That's the actual fucking purpose of that video because they would only feature Minecraft videos. So I was like, fine, I'll fucking make a fucking Minecraft video then. <laughs> you know? That's all it was. It's just like every all these streams that I do whenever I'm bitching and complaining about something about YouTube, it's the same fucking thing. It's just that's how I was doing it at that point in 2010 or whenever the fuck that was. All right, here we go. This game is so fun, fucking fun. I love this game. Good job, but good job, Nintendo, making this. Seriously, I gotta commend them when they do something good. I don't know if I'm gonna fucking like that Mario Wonder game. I don't know. It just, I don't know. The art style, something about that art style, I just don't like it. I'm gonna try it. I will try it though. I'll try it once. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe I'll play it and I'll fucking love it. I hope so. But even if they fuck that up, they did this, so like, I'm happy about this. I thought there was another lap. <laughs> I totally thought there was one more lap. 
<laughs> Alright, the laugh threw me off. I always do that. I always like don't know if it's like the last or not. I'm bad at that. I don't know. How, what did I get? I didn't even fucking say. What, what did I just do? Oh, 36? Okay. Where, where is everybody else? I don't, did they even get into it? Are they ahead of me? Oh, Minky did really well. Okay. Did you other guys not get in? Maybe they didn't get into it. I think Minky was the only one. You missed that one? That's alright. Retro type, aren't you planning to? Alright, we got eight minutes to go. At least I'm getting points for these tickets. Fernie crashed out. Is Fernie somebody that's in here? Or is that just somebody I was shitting on? Some random person? Way too in the zone for, for your own good. Me? What? What are you saying? <laughs> what is your favorite brand of lube? I thought I, I thought you were gonna say cereal, but, but like for the eight million time. We talk about cereal so much. Oh my god. Uh, here, here's the disappointing thing. I don't really eat much carbs anymore, especially carbs like that. I don't eat cereal at all. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. I used to, but I don't eat cereal. I'm just, this is all disappoint, just, I'm just gonna disappoint you all continually. <laughs> They're like, what? Also, another thing, I'm gonna disappoint you even further. Saturday morning cartoons, they don't exist anymore. I know, I know. Surprising to hear that, but they're they're gone now. Apparently, they got rid of Saturday morning cartoons. It's very sad. Newspapers seem to be on their way out too. so well I thought I was gonna win it and then I don't know what happened Art Vandelay Art Vandelay Say Vandelay Say Vandelay <laughs> Oh my god I was doing great too I was like in like third or something That was a rough way to go. Man, what was I in? I was doing well until then. That, if, if I didn't blow up, I probably would have won. <laughs> All right, we have four minutes to go. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one.
Link to the Past 99. Yeah, they gotta do some Link Zelda one, huh? Honestly, the one I want to, I want them to do pilot wings because there hasn't been a pilot wings thing in a really long time, and I think pilot wings would be perfect for this. You know, though, like a lot of people I find have a lot of trouble with the SNES pilot wings, so I don't know if they'll do it. I really love the Super Nintendo pilot wings, but I think a lot of people don't like it, so they might not do it. No, I think about it. They'll probably do something else. They'll probably do like Metroid or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know what they would actually do. Or who knows? Maybe they won't be doing anything. Maybe this is just it for like years. <laughs> hey, man, if they just keep coming out with content for this, that's fine. That'd be nice. Let's just, let's, how about let's just focus on the F-Zero game and just keep coming out with good shit for it. talking about climaxing. What does he mean? What does he mean? You know damn well. That's a random, rando person, right? That's not anybody in here? Anybody? Anybody? Is that anybody? I'm really good at blowing up right before the super, wait, oh, super spark collector? Spark man. Me Mega man. I'm really good at blowing up right before the big, is it like ready yet? One minute. I think I, I might just wait for it so I don't miss it. Or I could do one more raise. I don't want to miss it. I'm just gonna wait. I don't wanna miss it. Cause I might do a race and miss it or something. I don't know how long the thing like lasts for. Is it 10 minutes? Does anybody know how long the Grand Prix thing like lasts for? It is 10 minutes? All right, I'm gonna do one more F-099 then. Regular race. This is smart. It be that thing better be 10 minutes. I won't have enough tickets to do like two, you know? I'll only get the one chance. So. I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna do one. I actually want Mute City. <laughs> I don't even think I've done Mute City today. Oh, motherfucker. Cause I've done Death Win like 20 times tonight. All right, so this is just a regular race. You clipped the crash. It wasn't that funny. And then that other one, the one before that or something, I was like almost, I was like in like third place or something, I think, and then I blew up. I was doing really well on that one until that crap. I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> There's really good uh, F-Zero hacks, by the way. I, play, I played some, you know. 
so if F zero ninety nine isn't enough for you, you try out some of those like F zero hacks. I want to say like I think there was one called like F one or something like that. I can't remember the title of it, but I remember playing one that was like really 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 good. in the zone that charges you. I didn't think that was even possible. That's possible? How does that happen? I've never seen that in my life. Ever. I've, I've never seen that happen. It is possible for damage to outweigh the heal? I guess so. Because you got rammed hard. <laughs> oh, that explains it. Oh, I just got... I got rammed really hard. Dude, I have never seen that in all my days of playing F-Zero. I didn't know that you could even do that. Well, that was funny. All right, well, I got another ticket out of it anyway. All right, so Grand Prix time. Grand Prix, and in five, four, three. I think they're, they're probably still doing the race, right? Maybe I better wait a second. I'll, I'll wait, like slightly more. I'll let them all finish their race. Rammed hard from the rear. That's right. Alright, I'm gonna do it. And in five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully you guys make it in, I don't know. I would just like it to make it through. Like, I don't care about winning. I just want, I just want to not blow up is my goal. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, here we go. You're gonna ram them? Ram them! broken.
Bernie. Alright, six. Boop, 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 boop. Love that Super Nintendo music. Corn dog. Is that all you guys get in here? I don't see any. Did you, all you guys get into the race? Am I even playing with anybody? You crashed out and got 95? Oh man, that sucks. See, I now I would love to see your screen, Retro. I'd I love to see like what happened to you. Fancy Charles is playing 91 and ranked out. We got 95 and 91? Uh-oh. Come on, guys. You're letting these randos beat us. I'm just happy that I didn't blow up. <sighs> bum, 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 bum. Damn. Mike's doing good now that he's off of autopilot. Well, it's like when you're just like trying to get tickets, it's kind of like I'm half paying attention, I'm talking in chat. So now I'm like, I can't. Now I care more, because now it's like, okay, now we're like really playing. It's different when I care, <laughs> you know?
still going. 33, shit. I thought it was a little better than that. Bump, 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 bump. We in chat bring Mike down. We distract him, we annoy him, we harass him. No wonder he doesn't pay attention to us for being assholes. You're fine. Wait, what? You're, you, I don't feel that way. <laughs> You're putting words in my mouth. You're totally good. <laughs> you were joking? You're not allowed to joke in here. This is very serious. He meant put something else in your mouth. Oh. Now we're serious. Hey, there go them. There go them. There go them. What do y'all have for supper? Last one. See if I can make it through. Have you won it all tonight, Mike? Um, I'm not doing too great. I'm just trying to make it through. If I can make it through this without dying, I'll be happy. We'll see.
<laughs> I did a little spin. Well, at least I made it. At least I made it. I didn't blow up. Overall score? I don't know. No idea. We'll see. Have I been to the Rainbow Road yet? I was on the Rainbow Road at the uh, Mario right? I went to this, oh, right here. You see this? I should show you this. Can you see? I can't see that. Hang on. This here, Super Nintendo. I went to the Super Nintendo World. That Mario Kart ride was, it was a good ride. I liked it. And they have, it's got Rainbow Road and all that. So I was 11. Hey, at least I made it. We got a bunch of points. Weekly total. Well, this is a very fun game, but I have had about enough for now. Uh, I'll play more probably another night. Um, we'll see. I know when King's League comes out, I'll definitely want to play it again. We'll see if I play it again before then or something. But, I mean, I'll probably play something else next time. Anyway, it was got, it was fun playing with uh, some of you guys in the chat and all that. Hope you enjoyed. Hey! We got 7,500 leaderboard points. All right. But they're going to delete anyway, right? So what does that even mean? Like... Oh, three thousand total points, three thousand. So I, I mean, like, and then they all delete. So what do I care? <laughs> what is it like if I just constantly play the game all day long, every? Is that what you have to do? Like to get to be up there, you just probably have to constantly play the game like twenty-four hours a day to get there. But then they're gonna delete it on you anyway. I don't like that they delete it on you. You know, because then all your work gets deleted. That's something I don't really care for. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. Oh, yeah, they're saying, yeah, they're going to delete this. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. And then someday they're going to delete the entire game. I mean, some someday this will get just totally deleted, and which sucks because this is, this is fun, you know? Anyway, guys, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.